done. It is Saturday morning and it's been a bit of a doozy of a morning I have to say. Um, I think it's about quarter to ten and it has been a struggle. <laughs> I tell you it's been a really weird morning for the moment. Kevin woke me up. It was like the old days where I used to wake up and just be like pain from head to toe and not be able to move. It was the same from this one and I have not experienced that for a very long time. It was super strange but, and because I knew who was who would be blaming himself for waking me up and panicking probably because I really couldn't move, basically couldn't move. I had to really force myself to move <laughs> and like sit up in bed or whatever, like we wake up basically. It was very odd and I've sort of struggled since then. Kevin's struggling, he went back to sleep and I just had to wake him up just because we've got to be at the museum at 10.30. I did not remotely think 10.30 would be a struggle for us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been that sort of a morning so we're just gonna have some cereal for breakfast I think I might do some Turkish bread I haven't decided yet just a simple breakfast and then tomorrow if we've got time we'll do the mushrooms and avocado toast and stuff but um, we'll probably have it by 10 o'clock tomorrow so who knows <laughs> how that will go it's a nice day it's a lot cooler today so that's good I'm just sitting here looking I'll show you the view in a moment and I'm gonna go and um, your breakfast sold out, I guess. And I'll be heading to the museum. But yeah, it's um, got a headache. It's a pretty achy, not as bad as it was, but yeah. Good old fibro and good old whatever Kevin is dealing with. <laughs> We're a great pair now. We can complain away together. But at least we understand what each other's experiencing. Anyway, here's my view. Here's today's breakfast. <laughs> Not quite what I thought I was going to be having, but it's fine. And I'm sitting out. So that's this one was on the Turkish roll. It's very fresh, so I didn't want to toast it. So I'll sit here and just enjoy the, the fresh air and a bit of a view. <laughs> Inside, the apartment's all set up so that you're sort of orientated that way and you don't see the tower in there. The apartments we own actually are the opposite orientation, so you do sort of orientate towards Black Tower, which is good, because it's a much nicer area, <laughs> rather than just look at, at that. So we're just arriving at the National Museum of Australia. I'm sadly not feeling, not feeling very good, but I'll do my best to vlog or take photos in the ex ex exhibition. <laughs> this is new, isn't it? I haven't seen, don't remember this from before. It's always been there. You get to see yourself. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's forgot his mask, so as you go back to the car, my eyes are watering. And of course, I've got my hanky back at the apartment. So, luckily, they put on a lot of makeup today. My eyes were watering last night, too. What's going on with that? <laughs> anyway, we're just waiting by the entrance. Just take some of my pain medication, my tramadol. So hopefully, feel it better and enjoy the exhibition. I'm sure it'll be good anyway. This museum is free to get into, but you did need to buy the tickets. So this is an exhibition, ancient Greece, but it's from the British Museum. In case you're interested, the tickets don't have the price on them anymore, so I don't know how much they were. Maybe about thirty dollars, something like that. Just entering the exhibition. Oh, it looks busy in here.
So the separate gift shop for the exhibition. I guess with Greek inspired stuff. The exhibit was good, a bit crowded. So it was hard to get in to read things and Kevin and I are both not feeling good, so that didn't help. But we'll go and have a look at the other shop, I think, because they often have nice things at the other shop. If I'd seen anything like with Athena on it or something, probably would have got something, but I don't know what I'm looking for. Camera's going <laughs> I think so. Who's the Matabatrosaurus? Weird name. Made by the Queen's family, you think? It wasn't made by a mummy and daddy. So we're going to go have a look in the museum shop now. I've bought a few things in here over the years. Use your little tissues I've got here? No. <laughs> I didn't need them. And one thing to buy, I was looking at trying to buy this and just haven't got around to ordering it yet. Over here. We've got vegan bars. Vegan protein bars. for a bit of a drive around to the Arboretum. Well, the trees have gotten bigger, Kevin. <laughs> From the front entry ones. It's been a few years since we've been here. Let's we'll go for a little drive around.
sitting in a car park in Woda, uh, ordering a lak, which is a really nice is it Chinese restaurant, some kind of Asian restaurant, Vietnamese, I don't know what they are, but one of the Asian style restaurants. We used to have one in Wollongong and we loved it, the same owners, they had, they had one restaurant down here and they opened the second one down here. So this one is supposed to be the better one, the other one is closer to town where we're staying, but we'll come out to the better one, it's probably like an extra five minutes away. Yeah. So Kevin's is ordering on his phone and then we're parked close by, so. Order info says order alert from all lack word and vegan cuisine. Thank you for your purchase. Your order will be ready on the 19th of February 2022 at 1 p.m. at all lack word and vegan cuisine Westfield Woden, Shop G98 Corinna Street, Philip, Act 2606. Please visit your oh, order yeah. page for more info. <laughs> Well, there you go. You heard all the details of how we pick it up. We've got half an hour. That's okay. We had last time we were here, we actually ate in, and we had a really it was a really nice experience. But my head is just so so sore. Kevin's not great, so it just to be easy to take it back to our apartment. We know it's nice and quiet. We can just get comfortable. I've not seen those glasses before. You've got glittery. I've had these sunglasses for years. Show the sides. Yeah. People might not have seen the sides. They're all sparkles. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, I've had them for years, Kevin. You're very observant. Yes. <laughs> so that's our plans. Well, I'm excited by our DVC. Yes. We'll have a DVC video. And we'll talk about DVC. Yes. We can do that. I don't mean, Kevin's video because we decided the DVC is going to, which is Disney Vacation Club, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, it's going to be Kevin's little baby to look after. He's done all the research and all the studying of how to um, buy we point through the resale program. But yeah. But, um, Pretty good. We're going to have points for lots of Disney holidays. Mm. So we're just having to wait for everything to finalise and then we can start to make our plans. We're not sure whether they'll be through in time for Alani for our May trip to I Hawaii. At the moment we're not staying at Alani because it's super, super expensive. But if our points come through then and we can get a booking, we would, we would change one of our bookings to that, but we'll just have to see. But yeah, we'll um, do a, yeah, Kevin can do a bit of a video on that, and then we can do a Q&A or something as well, because people might have questions. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway, my arm, my arm is getting sore holding the camera. <laughs> so we'll chat with you when we're probably back home, and we'll show you our lunch. We've actually ordered quite a bit, so it's going to be like lunch, dinner for me, and probably lunch tomorrow as well. Oh, you're showing it here, are you? If it works. It worked before. <laughs> it seems a bit temperamental. Don't know what part of this thing reads it. Have to sort this out before we move into a place that uses this. There you go. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? You'll have to edit out all the bit where it didn't work. <laughs> Yeah. 
I need to go chop up the food for two. So I've got the treats and some excited puppies. I'm getting the bubble. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. Let's go. We're going to go in the pool. Okay. With some excited puppies, the pool's actually quite clean. Ready, Kalora? Ready? You got the boo boo? Get it! Splash! And the woofing begins. The woofing begins. <laughs> Good boys! Let Kalora up! Goodness gracious. Silly boys. 